I just scared my dog. <laughs> it's okay, pup. It was me. Hello, my name is Jess and I haven't made a video in like a month. I need to do myself, I need to do myself? I need to do something to just throw myself back into video making. So I've decided that I'm going to post one video a week of just mini tutorials, like little things I can throw at you to teach you something. If you have any suggestions, anything you would like me to teach during this week of mini tutorials, please leave it in the comments. So today I'm going to be teaching you the difference between knitting and crochet. A lot of people don't know what the actual difference is, and it's a question that people ask me a lot, so I figured I may as well make a video about it, even though there's a zillion videos out there about it, it's just, I'm gonna make mine, okay? I do both, I knit and crochet. They both use loops to create fabric, so you are connecting loops together to create fabric. I startled my dog. Poor thing. She's trying to lay down and I'm trying to make a video. Should I put you in the video? She's at my feet, trying to knock into my tripod. This is for Recycled on Wind Days, who has asked to see more of my dog and I have not um <laughs> I have not done that here she is this is Pepper she's a Shiba Inu she just knocked my microphone off of my stand we're creating fabric with loops right 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 so knitting uses two needles to create those loops with crochet you only have one hook to manipulate that's creating the loops when you're knitting you have all of the loops that you are currently working with open on one needle and you're using the second needle to grab each loop and pull more yarn through to create new loops if you drop a stitch in knitting it pulls all the stitches that it is connected to down all that is dropped all that work is lost everything that was connected to that stitch that's still open on your needle is unconnected that's why when you get like a run in your tights if you wear tights or if you ever have a sweater that like a stitch pulls loose and you get that kind of laddery effect that um, is a knit material and that's why that happens and that stays open until you bind your work off and you close all of your open loops at once with crochet every stitch is completely independent of yourself you open and close the loops all at once once it's closed it's closed when you're crocheting you cannot really drop any stitches beyond the one you're currently working on. You can't lose work you've done previously by dropping a stitch, which is really nice if you're trying to learn how to do it. <laughs> the fabric they produce is also slightly different. When you're knitting, you're actually using less yarn to create more fabric, and it's a more flowy, drapey fabric. It's a little more loose. It's better for making things like sweaters or clothing because it drapes around the body. It's not a stiff fabric, it's a loose, flowy fabric. When you're crocheting, the stitches are chunkier, they use more yarn, and so they create a stiffer fabric, which is really good for making like the amigurimi. I'm no, I'm saying that wrong, but like those little crocheted toys that are so dang cute. You can do a lot of cute things with crochet, make a lot of cool pattern designs. It's great for lace, doilies, etc. So which of the two is easier to learn as a beginner? I definitely think crochet is easier to learn. You only have one hook to maneuver, and if you happen to drop a stitch, that's okay. You haven't screwed up your entire project. I essentially taught myself how to crochet. Knitting, I needed people to help. I tried to teach myself knitting. I was doing it backwards. Um, I had to have someone show me, someone show me? I had to have someone show me how to make the stitches properly. And when you're learning knitting, you feel like you need like 12 more hands because you have to hold this needle and you have to hold this needle and somehow you have to get the yarn through the hook. Overall, I think crochet, if you're wanting to pick up a yarn craft, crochet is a little bit easier to pick up and there's a lot of really cool patterns out there that you can do from basically being a beginner. Once you learn the basic stitches, patterns are pretty easy to follow. And I'm gonna shut up now because this is a mini tutorial. That's all I'm gonna teach you today. Now you know the difference between knitting and crochet. That's my, my day one mini toot. Um, let me know what you would like me to teach you this week. Please give me suggestions. I only have two ideas and this was one of them. I do have more Etsy videos coming. I am actually working on a video where I helped my friend Megan set up her shop. We filmed it and we talk about some stuff like shipping profiles, all that cool stuff. So I tried to work on that today and it's just a more in-depth project and I just want to knock something out and post it. So we're doing this week of mini toots. Leave your suggestions in the comments. Leave your suggestions in the comments. Leave your suggestions in the comments. Thank you. My name is Jess. I hope you're having a beautiful day and I will see you the next time I make a video. Goodbye.